let's check this. Oh my gosh, there's another spotted. Look at this guy. Gorgeous, this one's real pretty. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. Holy moly, look at that. Gorgeous spotted salamanders, two of them. Last week's video, I was in a wetland that had a bunch of newts. And now this is the second half of the video. I'm going to a bunch of different beaver dams and we'll pretty much leave it off from here and enjoy the video. I moved on from the first wetland and there's this huge wetland behind me. I saw it on a map. I'm super excited to go poke around and check it out. Oh, check it out. Trilliums are going. It's one of my favorite flowers. Three, you can see three leaves, trillium. It's not bloomed yet, but there's a couple of them right over here, all along this little hillside. I'd say probably another week, they're gonna be full bloom. Beautiful flower. That's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, look at this trillium. These are pretty much flowered. Some red ones, bigger trillium. This little hillside's really nice for it. Some ducks on it, looks like some mallards. Also a big goose. It's two big beaver dams too. I did not realize this was gonna be this extensive. Wow. Ooh, look at that, mallards going. See you mallards. Oh yeah, there's a newt. Ooh, I just covered him up. Hey, look at that little newt. See ya bud. So there's newts here. It's a good place for newt action. Beaver activity. Whoa. Ooh, there's a nice redback. Look at that redback salamander, lost his tail. Nice looking redback. Cool, so put the log back and let the salamander kind of go back itself. Look at this though. Something was spawning here. Got a bunch of eggs. Kind of fungus up a little bit. Oh, there's a newt right there. Let's see if we can scoop them. Nice. Yeah, so this place also has a bunch of newts. Look at that newt. See you, bud. There's one of the bigger beaver lodges. One of, looks like four. Could be four in this little body of water. Wow, here's their dam. That is a glorious looking dam. This goes on for a while. It looks like it's like stepped down with dams. They did some work on this thing, that's for sure. Oh, look at these ducks coming in. Oh, they're gonna fly high, two mallards. They're thinking about landing. There's one more little wetland, but it's at the top of that. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of rock hopping to get up there. I think it's gonna be worth it. Oh, Lori. Come on. Rock. Hop in. Whoa. Wow. You can almost see Lake Champlain from here. Ow. Totally just cut my leg. All right, we're almost there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But, wow. What a view. Should be another little wetland right up over here. Wow. And there is, there's some geese. Little beaver dam. There's the dam. Oh, there's a newt right there. So there are newts in here. It looks kind of deep. I don't know if we'll be able to... Oh. Look at that, damselfly larva. I saw it and it looks like a small stick-like thing. But look at that damselfly larva. Let him, let him go. This is definitely the other spot I wanted to check out. Some newts swimming away. They're so cool. It's deeper up in here. Oh, whoa mallards, whoa, I'm gonna fall in. Got distracted by the mallards. Oh, here we go, here's some ducks. Wow. 
Two mallards flying away. It's a newt right there. Two newts. Here goes one. And there's the other one. Oh, they're going through amplexus. They're doing their thing. Oh, whoa, look at that. Very nice. Awesome. Spotted salamander. Wow, this is, I feel like it's kind of late. Let me go wash my hands real quick. Look at this guy. Very nice. That's a great surprise. Beautiful spotted salamander. Oh, I love that. That's very cool. Underneath this little log right here. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. How cool is that salamander? Gosh, I love these salamanders. They're so freaking cool. Let's put them back underneath his little... See you, buddy. Whoa. Redback salamander right here. So cool. I love redbacks. And also a little centipede. Nice little redback. Put him back. See you, buddy. Series of beaver dams. Got the main main spot and then a couple other little tiny pools. Whoa! Two little redbacks. These are big old redbacks. Look at these things. Wow. Nice size redbacks. They're a pair. Beautiful looking things. Let's go ahead and flip this back over. See redbacks? Love redbacks, they're so cool. There's one, and there's two. Ow, pricklies. There it is, the big dam. Beaver dam. Now that's pretty deep. Mallard's kind of hanging back over there. We want to kind of swoop around and see if there's anything over there. So this is a pretty, oh, look at him swimming away. That was a pretty colored up nude. He's sitting on that log right there. Let's see if we can move that. Whoa, big worms. Oh, here we go. Spotted salamander. Very cool. Gorgeous looking spotted salamander. Look at that. And one of the biggest worms I think I've ever seen. Look at that worm. Nice spotted salamander, nice worm. Let's go ahead and put them like that. Go like that, make sure there's no one else under there. Hydrate them a little bit. Cool. All right, let's see if we can move this log again. This way. And then, let's check this log. Oh, there's another spotted salamander. Look at this one. Gorgeous looking spotted salamander. Let's make sure there's not any other ones. And then let's go ahead and get him back. Another nice little spotted. Wow. I love these things. They're so cool. God, I love the spotted salamanders. I just think they're so iconic and so beautiful. Big mole salamander. All right, let's get him back underneath. See you later, bud. Let's go ahead and move this. Let's check this. Oh my gosh. There's another spotted. Look at this guy. 
gorgeous. This one's real pretty. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. Holy moly. Look at that. Gorgeous spotted salamanders. Two of them. Gosh, I love these. I love these guys. Let's get cleaned off just a little bit. Wow. So cool. These, these, these guys are getting all amped up. Wow. Gorgeous creatures. Love these spotted salamanders. So cool. Look at these guys. I mean, you just can't beat them. They're so cool. Look at these. All right, let's go ahead and put them down, put them back under. So slowly put this down and then release this one back in there. We'll find his way and then this one was up over here. Oh my gosh, look at this, a red eft. Ah, I don't know if it is a red eft quite yet. But man, it's getting to the point where it wants to be a red eft. So I think it's still the aquatic version. But yeah, I think it's it's slowly trying to get there. It's slowly trying to get to the terrestrial version though. Beautiful, beautiful creature. Wow, look at that thing. Nice, oh, bug going in my mouth. But nice orange colors, telling predators, hey, leave me alone. We'll go ahead and just kind of release them right here on top. So you can go back if you want, bud. What a cool creature. All right, that's gonna be the end of the day. Really great day. Saw a bunch of cool newts, a couple of spotted salamanders at the end. Heard some frogs all day. You could hear them now kind of chirping, but starting to get dark out. Um, I got a little bit of a hike back. Uh, so I got to go down that steep mountain, but yeah, it's just a good day exploring. I definitely got lost and some days you just need those days in the woods that you just get lost, find a couple new places, flip some logs, flip some rocks and find some cool things. Thank you so much everybody for tuning in. I really appreciate everyone's support and we'll see you next time. What's this? Official geocatch, geocaching.com. Wyoming. Do we open it or we leave it? Curiosity killed the cat. Let's open this thing up. Hopefully there's no like bomb or something in it. If I can open it. Look at all this stuff in here. Rubus cube. Wind up toy. We'll put everything in here. No bombs. Log book. Let's look at the log book. 50 states, Wyoming. Congrats, you found 50 states, Wyoming. Okay. What does that even mean? Geocache site, please read. Congratulations, you found it, intentionally or not. What is this hidden container sitting here for? What the heck is this doing here with all these things in it? It is a part of a worldwide game dedicated to GPS users called geocaching. The game basically involves a GPS user hiding treasure, this container and its contents, so a bunch of toys, and publishing the exact coordinates so other GPS users can come on a treasure hunt to find it. The only rules are, if you take something from the catch, you must leave something for the catch, and you must write about your visit in the logbook. Hopefully the person that hid this container found a good spot that is not easily found by uninterested parties i'd say that's pretty good i mean this is on a freaking beaver, beaver dam i mean it was in the sticks in a beaver dam like that's pretty good yeah hopefully this person that hid the container found a good spot that is not easily found by uninterested parties well i guess i'm kind of interested now sometimes a good spot turns out to be a bad spot though if you found this container by accident it's great you're welcome to join us. We ask only that you please do not move or vandalize the container. The real treasure is just finding a container and sharing your thoughts with everyone else who finds it. 
If you wish, go ahead and take something, but please also leave something of your own for others to find and write in the logbook. If possible, let us know what you found, meaning that you found it, visiting the website listed below. Geocaching is open to anyone with a GPS and has a sense of adventure. There are similar sites all over the world. The organization has its home on the internet. Visit our website if you want to learn more. Wow, that's pretty cool. You know what? I think I am gonna add something to this. And I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna write in my little log book. It's a little bit wet, but let's see if this pen works. Wyoming. Dang, this goes back to all the way to 20, 2010. Oh my gosh. I mean, this thing is like 14 years old. There's quite a few people that found it too. I'm gonna be the next one. So the last person that found it was back in 2019. So all right, let's write this. Uh, what, what's today's date? April 27th, 2024. Uh, might not be, might not have any juice in it. Is there another pen? Oh, there's a pencil. That's what we need. Oh, the pencil's not. Come on, this thing's gotta write. Oh, it wants to go. There we go. Now it's writing. 427 2024 Graham. What could we leave? What could we leave for him? Uh, let's see. Let's see what I got in my bag. Mosquitoes are going crazy. I'll leave a raven float. It's a fishing float, and uh, I'm gonna say found by accident. It's pretty cool. Geocaching. Never heard of it. I just found 50 states, Wyoming. Guess I got 49 more to go. Let's go ahead and put the logbook back in. Put the pen back in. Oop. Lock it back up. It's kind of loud. Put it right back where I found it. Geocaching. In the middle of the woods in the mountain under Beaver Dam. Pretty cool.